So what fabric to choose for which sewing project? This is a great question and oftentimes can be a bottleneck or a stopping point for a lot of sewing projects out there. And I know this because, well, I've been in your shoes and I also read quite a lot of your comments underneath my videos. So today I invite you to come along with me and I will share with you the fabrics that I like to use the most and what kind of garments I use them for. Because you all heard me say that multiple times that fabric can often either make or break your whole design, your whole garment. And when all of that depends on the right choice, it can be a little nerve wracking. So I truly hope that this exercise will help you in the future to not to be scared to experiment and to really make the best choice for your next sewing project. So let's get started. Now there can be a lot of moving parts when it comes to choosing your fabric, you know, especially with a given variety of fabrics in the world and all of the new fabrics that industry is coming up with. I mean, it can be a little bit overwhelming. But I think that if you really boil it down, at least for me, there are four key points that I use as a guideline when I choose my fabric. And you will develop your own system in time, but let me share with you what I do. And the first thing that I do is I decide what kind of project am I going to make, what kind of garment it is going to be. Is it going to be office wear, for example, or athleisure? Is this for formal wear or something for everyday wear? And that will determine what type of fabric am I going to go for. Now, now, usually fabric is divided into wovens and knits. Woven fabric, as a rule, is non-stretch. However, for example, this one is 97% cotton and 3% elastane. It has just a tiny bit of stretch. It's still woven fabric with a tiny bit of stretch for comfort. And knit fabric usually has quite a bit of stretch properties. It will depend on the type of knit, the amount of stretch that it has, but it's really great for any garments that are for athleisure, for athletic wear, for everyday wear, any garments that have negative ease, knit fabrics are great for that. For everything else, you would use most likely woven fabrics. The next thing that I look at is the season. What is the season that I'm sewing for? While majority of fabrics are quite universal, there are some fabrics that are sort of considered for one season and not for the other. For example, linen. Linen oftentimes is considered more of a summer, spring textile. And then fall fur, you would also usually wear in late fall and over winter and not necessarily in the summertime. You get where I'm going here. Next for me is the structure of the garment. You have to really take a look at the pattern that you're making or at the pattern that you're using and determine what is the structure that you need in this garment. Is it a flowy dress like this where you will have quite a bit of gathers and you can use a beautiful chiffon fabric that will gather nicely? Or is it something quite structured? So you really have to determine what is the structure of your garment and use the appropriate fabric for that. And the last thing for me is the overall design, the overall look of your garment, because you can make exactly the same pattern in two different types of fabric and it will look completely different. So for example, let's say you want to make a bishop sleeve blouse. You can make it in chiffon and it will have a very feminine, very airy silhouette and you can make it in neoprene and it will have very pronounced gathers and very pronounced sleeves with very pronounced volume. So it really depends on what is the silhouette, what is the design aesthetic that you're going for. Summertime is just around the corner, so we're going to start with a dress and a shirt slash blouse garments. Let's talk about this dress first. It has a beautiful flowy silhouette. We see gathers around the waist, either by elastic or maybe there is casing for ties. So we see quite a few gathers in this area and we also see some gathers in the neck area as well. And this is a beautiful flowy design for a summer dress, something that I would make and something that I would definitely wear. Now, if you're going to choose a different type of dress or a structure of a garment, your selection of these fabrics would be different of course but for my particular dress this is what I would go for and of course these three types of swatches that I have over here are not the only fabrics that you can use for a dress like that just be creative and find a fabric that really speaks to you and your needs in garment construction now, silk would be one of my first choices when it comes to creating a silhouette and a garment like this. It falls beautifully, it creates very gentle gathers, and overall, it's a great textile to use for summer months. 
My next choice would be chiffon. Now chiffon can be made from natural fibers like silk or from synthetic ones. The only thing about chiffon is that it is quite see-through as you can see on your screens right now. So you will need to double up on layers of chiffon or maybe use lining in your dress. But I do love to use it for silhouettes like that and other summer garments. Next choice is satin. Satin is a little bit of a heavier fabric but it does have that beautiful sheen to it. So if you want to take this dress into evening wear direction this would be a great choice for that. Now in this case I would also alter the dress and instead of doing gathers I would probably convert them into pleats so that way this fabric would work in the best way for this type of dress. Now let's talk about this blouse slash shirt. It is sort of a semi-fitted silhouette, not too tight, not too loose. We have a couple of darts and this is something that I like to make and wear quite a bit. Now my first choice would be for a quite common fabric used in shirts, especially button-ups, which is cotton poplin. I absolutely love working with it. It's a very nice fabric to use. Now if you want a flowy silhouette, rayon would be a great choice for that. And that is also a fabric that I use for a variety of garments. And my last choice would go for crepe. Crepe I also use in a lot of different garments but I do like that it's flowy yet it does hold the structure of the garment so you can really do some cool design stuff with it. Now, as I mentioned, there is a wide variety of fabrics out there and that's one of the reasons why today in this video I'm sharing with you the types of fabrics that I like to use in my sewing projects. But let's say you're really into historical fashion or you like to do costumes or maybe bridal wear is what you want to do and sew or maybe that's your next sewing project. What you can do is you can do a little bit of research and I know there are some companies out there that do swatches for particular types of fabrics. So so you can order those swatches so that way you can feel the fabric, you can see how it acts, you can see how thick it is, what is the drape, and you can use the same exercise for the type of garment that you have in mind to sew. Now let's talk about these pants right over here. This is just a straight leg design, nothing fancy, something that you will find pretty much everywhere. And of course, the type of fabric will determine what kind of pants those are going to be. And the first choice would go to denim. Denim is a great fabric to use for pants. It's durable, depending on the thickness of denim, it's quite pleasant to work with. You can go for a variety of blues, which is a standard thing for denim, or you can also opt for colors or patterns and even a little bit of stretch for comfort so you can find quite a bit of different denims out there. Now another fabric that I like to use for pants is cotton twill, also very pleasant to work with. You can find a variety of colors and I absolutely love to use it for pants. And for summertime, I do like to use medium weight linen. Linen is great because it holds shape. It does crease quite a bit, but you know what, for summertime where, when comfort really is the key, I do like to use linen for my pants. Now let's move on to the skirt. Again, this is a non-stretch garment and I do like to use crepe for a skirt like this. I also like to use silk and rayon, but I only had one of each of these swatches. Those fabrics are quite soft and they create those flowy silhouettes that I like. So let's move on to cotton. Here I have three cotton swatches. Each one of them is a little bit of a different weight and thickness. And that also speaks to the fact that you can use cotton in a variety of garments, in a variety of projects and you have seen all of these in my previous tutorials. So if ever in doubt, cotton is a great choice and a great starting point for any sewing project, really. And you don't have to go just for cotton. These can be cotton blends as well of different varieties. Just a quick note over here, if you are a member of this channel, then you do have these sketches available as a download and as a thank you for supporting this channel. Now, memberships are a paid function. I will say this one more time because I get a lot of questions about it. Memberships are a paid function. This is how you can support the channel, but in return, you do get quite a few perks. And if you're wondering what memberships are all about, you can click on the join button next to subscribe button and there will be a little trailer that will tell you 
you everything you need to know. Big, big thank you to all of the members of the channel. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Now download these sketches and make them into your own little swatch book. And by the way, there is an empty one as well. So you can sketch out what you like to sew and wear. Now let's take a look at this jacket. For jackets, I absolutely love using boucle. This particular one is 100% cotton and I absolutely love the texture and the look that it gives. I also like to use linen for summer jackets, but like with any fabric, you have to take a look at the weight of the fabric, especially when you're using it in structured pieces like jackets. And this gray suiting is another fabric that I absolutely love to use in jackets. When you go into fabric stores or when you shop online. Usually there is a separate category called suiting, which contains fabrics that are usually used in suit-like garments, for example, jackets, pants, and pencil skirts. All right, it's time to talk about stretch and knit garments. And here I have just, you know, a simple t-shirt and some simple sweatpants. And for the tops, I absolutely love to work with Jersey Lycra Blend. And you have seen me use this fabric on my channel quite a bit in a variety of different garments. I also like to use bamboo, but I currently do not have an actual swatch of it. So rayon jersey is another great fabric to use. However, it does curl up a bit and sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to sew because of that and for the bottoms I do like to use double burst jersey and you know what for any types for bottoms tops I've actually just made some leggings for my toddler out of this fabric and the result is absolutely fantastic it's soft and stretchy just wonderful rib knit don't forget about it as well it's a great fabric to use for any of your stretch knit garments needs now these are the fabrics that I like to use and this is just a pinch, really, just a pinch of a variety of fabrics that is available out there in the world. Therefore, I do encourage you to have fun with this exercise, to do a little bit of research, grab some fabric swatches, sketch out projects and garments that you like to sew and wear and look up some information on Google, maybe grab a book from the library and do this exercise because it truly will increase your chances of success during your next sewing project. Not to mention that at the end of it, you will have a mini swatch book for your own personal reference. So dear sewing friend, how do you feel about fabric now? I truly, truly hope that this video gave you a little bit more confidence to make that choice between the right fabric and the right garment so that way you can put them together and make something beautiful. And if you are wondering where do I buy my fabric online, then I do have a full video about that listing my favorite places where to shop with examples of fabrics that I bought and what I made from them and a coupon code too, which is about to expire so you better go click right over there and watch that video and I'll see you in that one. Bye!